Hey, and welcome to the Barry Vera Show. Boy, have we got a lot planned tonight. Masters Week, I had the privilege of working with Tyler Florence, who was a celebrity chef, one of my biggest clients. And that week I said, you know, you need to come back to Augusta and do the Very Vera Show. And guess what? He's going to be with me tonight. We're doing some wonderful things and he has cleared his schedule between running a bunch of different restaurants, a line of baby food. He's on his seventh cookbook. He's got his own television show. He's just a very busy guy, but he cleared his calendar to be with us tonight. So please tune in because we're making two of his favorite dishes, a braised beef short rib with a seared scallop that is absolutely delicious. And then believe it or not, he actually has a cake recipe that's pretty good. It's a white coconut cake and I'm gonna put my spin on it. So join us, two great recipes, two great chefs and a lot of fun. All right, I said it was gonna get hot in the kitchen tonight and it certainly is. I'm here with Christina Cannon, who is part of the Very Vera organization and is helping tonight get these short ribs braised because I promised you a special guest and I think he's coming in right now, Tyler Florence, everybody. Hey Tyler, right. thank you so much for joining us. And we wanted to get you a little ahead of the game. Yes. So Christina has been getting these ready and um, I know this is one of your favorite recipes and one that has five stars all over the Food Network uh, website. So we're going to let you take over Thank and um, awesome. get you. those going and tell us a little bit about this dish and why it's one of your favorites. Well, this is actually a, a recipe that, that is um, at, at least 10 years old. Um, I, it's, uh, it's one of the uh, recipes that we shot, I, I think, early um, with, uh, with Food 911. I, I think this is... I, I think you're right. This is literally like either either 2000 or 2001. It's an interesting combination because it's, it's, uh, it's meat and fish kind of all pulled together in one dish. So it's actually braised short ribs and scallops kind of matched up together, which is really kind of interesting. It's, it's probably pretty... It's different, uh, for sure. Uh, probably not for everybody, but what's really nice about that are some of the techniques and tips in this, uh, which um, you can really apply to just about anything uh, from making a couple of really good sauces that Michelle had to make. Um, the braising technique works uh, mm -hmm. across the board, and that's, uh, you, know, you can make a pot roast, I mean, sort of the same idea. And, uh, and then the seared scallops later we're gonna make, uh, which are really great. When pieces together, this is gonna seem contemporary, right? Right. But the bits and pieces are actually really kind of lovely. So so, uh, so what we have here are some, some short ribs, right? And these are bone on ribs, and um, you, you need to find them in the, in the grocery store. Well, connected. you know, Fresh Market is where I went to pick these up, right. and they, you know, will cut them for you if yeah. they don't have them, but those look great. Which is always really nice. So, so uh, short ribs probably um, the best meat to braise because it has all this uh, connective tissue uh, mm -hmm. throughout the entire cut. Um, and it, it's, it's basically just the cap, just, just lives just on top of the rib itself. So when it starts to braise and fall apart, um, it's got like lots of connectivity and it's gonna make this really kind of unctuous, very soft, Ooh, really, really kind of soft, yeah. Well, while you're working on that and getting that going, I'm yep. gonna walk down here just a minute because you know, you have a cake recipe, I gotta give you a challenge on that. Oh, okay, yeah, the, the, cake, the, the cake recipe's pretty good. This is shred coconut cake with... Um, white chocolate, yeah, and I'm gonna yeah. invite Felicia to join us. And Felicia Beal is part of the Berry Beer team. She is our mm -hmm. assistant bakery director. Yeah. And we've got the ingredients here for your white coconut cake and it's actually I will have to say pretty good so what she's done here is we've already gotten the sugar and the the butter creaming I'm gonna add the eggs to that and I know Tyler what you're working on has a lot of different components that kind of add to that as well um, I think one of the things that I thought the most interesting about that dish was how that um, the sauces and everything are almost gonna get real syrupy and Honey like. Yeah, it's, it's going to actually kind of reduce down to a really nice place. So if you take a look at, this, at the uh, top of this for a second, which is a really important thing to think about um, when, uh, when you're braising meat. And again, we're talking about pot roast, right? A right. really kind of simple idea. Um, it's called the Mylard reaction. And that's where the amino acids and the protein actually start to melt to form this beautiful crust on top of that. And that's what roasted meat tastes like. Right, so, so so we've got if you and if you're gonna braise any kind of piece of meat, 
um, you definitely want to take a couple of minutes to, to, to think through this process. All right, so you're going to make it taste as good as possible. You never want to uh, put a, a cold piece of meat in a cold pan and put liquid on top of it and just sprays it because it's not going to work. Okay, well, I'm going to let you get started on that. We're going to keep going with this and we're going to be back. And while we're, while we're gone, all of this is going to come together. Yep. It's already smelling really great in here. Yep. So come back with us after the break. We're going to be putting this all together. You haven't messed up. We're not on the Food Network. This is NBC 26, and I'm so happy to have Tyler Florence with me tonight, and he is preparing a very special dish. Yeah, this is a, it's kind of like surf and turf. Um, it's, a, it's actually um, one of my favorite recipes, and, and I'm so happy you actually uh, dug through all the recipes I have on Food Network and pulled this out, because actually it's a really good one. And I haven't done this in a long time, this particular recipe. So it's good to see it again. So, uh, so we're, we're going we're gonna to braise some short ribs, and then we're going to sear some scallops. We're going to serve them on the same dish together. So if you've had a surf and turf before, like, like filet mignon and lobster, mm -hmm. you kind of get the idea how these are going to piece together. It's really nice. So, so we've seared our short ribs, kind of catch it back up again, and then we're going to put our braising liquid on top of this. And that's a uh, carrot and onion, a little bit of fresh thyme. And then it's got a couple different interesting flavors going on. It's got a little caraway, a little bit of paprika, uh, and it's got I honey. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, it's got honey, it's got uh, red wine, and it's got beef broth, right? <laughs> so, so there's a lot going on to this. You could simplify this whole recipe and just and just uh, saute some vegetables and put some water in it because we actually mm -hmm. seared all the short rib in this and it kind of makes its own little sauce. Um, this is a very complex, very beautiful sauce. Um, to save some time in the kitchen, if you just want to make something really nice on Sunday, you get to saute some vegetables and then actually add some box broth to that, and you're going to be great. It's going to well, be and I had read about that you like to do egg noodles sometimes with this too, so that that would be yeah, um, throw some pasta in. Egg, egg, egg noodles, you guys can see how beautiful this is. Ah, you know, egg noodles be really nice on top awesome. of this. Um, you know, of course, mashed potatoes be really nice with this. Um, uh, Italian polenta would be really nice with that if you want to do something like that. Really good. Okay, so this, so this is it. So yeah. So this is it. this is the braising dish, right? So we're gonna put this into the oven, uh, uh, what they call low and slow, right? So it's gonna go into 350, which is not incredibly low, but I think I think it's a really good temperature. And this is gonna go in the oven for about two hours, right? So this is not something that you want to make, say, you know, on a Thursday night when the kids have homework. This is a sort of a Sunday, you know, cooking project when you got some time to play around. Right. With it. All right. So it's gonna go into the oven, and then uh, we're gonna get this sort of this next sauce together. And uh, while you're doing that, yeah. I'm going to get started on um, this wonderful cake batter. You know, he describes things so beautifully. And this is the creamiest batter, Tyler, I tell you. It's just awesome. And, you know, the incorporation of ingredients in baking is very interesting, too, because many times it'll tell you to alternate the liquid and the dry. And on your recipe, it was all the liquid and then all the dry. So it's very fluffy. It's a very light cake. I've never, um, I've never really understood the process of, like, having to, like, add a little bit of the liquid and a little bit of dry when you're mixing the batters together. I mean, you see this all the time in class recipes, but, like, what, what's, does it do what's anything? It, well, I know, I really that's doesn't. why I made an epic the yeah, street. Right. I just don't Obviously, know what it, does. it was awesome. Okay, right. what have you got going on with your um, with the sauce that's going on with? Okay, so that? these are these are some really beautiful scallops. I'm, I'm just gonna actually kind of get these on a paper towel because I'm gonna dry them off first, right? And then because um, uh, uh, a wet scallop will not sear. A, a wet piece of chicken will not sear. A wet shrimp will not sear. So you definitely want to make sure they're nice and dry. So, and while we're doing that, uh, this is probably one of the easiest sauces <laughs> I've ever really made. So it's going to be a little bit of heavy cream. All right, we're just going to put this into a saucepan. Uh, chicken stock. And then we're going to add the zest of an orange. Mm. Just going to fold that in there as well. Really, really fragrant. So nice. And then also some saffron. Again, if, if it, 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 it's definitely sort of a fancy thing. And if you don't want to add that, absolutely no big deal at all. But uh, it's kind of crazy looking at it. Yeah, so sa saffron is the is the stamen of a crocus flower, right? And they, they either grow in um, in in Italy or in Spain, right? And, and also in Portugal, they kind of grow them all over the Mediterranean. But it, it adds a really kind of beautiful flavor to it. So uh, so you so the cake batter is going to go into the pan. We're going to dry these scallops off. This sauce is going to reduce in no time at all. Okay, come back right. and join us because we got a lot to do in the next segment. That's right, surf and surf. Welcome back, everybody. And again, I'm with my friend Tyler Florence, who has come in all the way from San Francisco. Yep. He's, he's really doing me a special 
special favor today to join us for the Very Very Show. And the surf and turf, I am so hungry, and all the smells, yep. it's fabulous. It's really nice. So, so we got we got the short ribs in the oven. Uh, they're brazing away. Uh, we're going to sear some scallops. I've got them sort of uh, dried off on a paper towel right now. Again, you know, nothing wet sears, right? So you have to have something really dry. It goes for chicken breast, pork chop, um, shrimp, anything. If you're going to put it into a pan, do yourself a favor and put it onto a paper towel and just absorb the excess liquid. Um, that's going to give you a much better opportunity to get a golden crust on top of that. And, and uh, so, and also our uh, our sauce for our scallops themselves are starting to reduce down. That's a uh, cream, orange zest, a little bit of chicken stock, and it's got some saffron in it. It's a little fancy. You certainly don't need that, uh, but it's really, really good. And I kind of want to talk about this cake for a second because, like, so the, so the cake batter is really great. And this is a, so the, so in the last you know bit, we uh, put the cake in the oven. This is what it looks like when it's finished. Yeah. And you cut the cake through the center. It's got really nice what they call cell structure. It's really tight, right? But it's also really kind of moist and mm -hmm. soft at the same time. And to me, like when when you when you got to serve a really moist cake, especially here in the South, right? A coconut cake. It's, um, it's 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 a religion. Right? It it's a religion. It's got to be really good, right? It is. So so it, it has to be soaked with something like a simple syrup to help kind of keep the moisture uh, really kind of high. So this is um and, you know this is um yeah, yeah this is a, how you put together simple syrups. So it's going to be water, mm -hmm. sugar, and then I like a little bit of rum in mine. Again, you can leave it out if you want to. I like um, the rum with the coconut. It's a really really nice flavor. Both tropical notes. You know they they make sense together. Mm -hmm. You know you put the lime and the coconut and they drink it all up. <laughs> kind of thing, right? Uh, I think it's really, and delicious. we can sing that right. Exactly right. So, uh, so, um, so water, sugar, a little bit of just clear white rum, and then uh, a kind splash of, of coconut extract. Splash of coconut extract to really kind of nail that flavor to really, really kind of make it taste great. Um, um, you want to reduce this by half until it looks viscous, right? And then uh, let it kind of cool down. Put that into a uh, little bit of a little bowl, and then uh, with a pastry brush, mm -hmm. you just want to kind of just uh, paint the 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 layers themselves so it really starts to soak up that beautiful flavor. Well I'm gonna get right. started so on that. So that's the base, because, right? Okay. Great. All right, so I've got the layer cut and yep. essentially just a long serrated knife and you just really just take it and go straight across the cake. Yep. And that's what we've done. And then I prepared the simple syrup. I've earlier. seen people do that with dental floss. Really? It actually works out I don't know if the mint Dental floss works out really well. I'm not trying to play. That could be for a peppermint cake. Oh, yeah, or, or, but if you have a real thin string, some yarn, uh, just real like tiny string, just kind of something to kind of saw the cakes. The cake's really soft, but you just want something that you can kind of get a nice even layer with, which is great. Well, and you know, this simple syrup also is going to make that icing just kind of really kind of start soaking through mm -hmm. when this is iced. And I think there's nothing yeah. more delicious than the four layers with all the scrumptious Absolutely. icing and, in between. And, and when the, um, the the cake is actually moist with the simple syrup on top of that, it's going to keep the crumb down too. It's going to, because at this point it's a little denser than it was two seconds ago. So when they start to uh, put the put the, the frosting in between the layer, it's not going to pull the crumb of the cake up with it, right? So it's actually nice and kind of flat at this point, which is great. Okay, so right? you're ready to start Searing yeah, yeah, I, absolutely. So, so we've actually got some uh, short ribs we braised earlier, which I'm going to show you for a second. And you're going to keep doing that, I'm which is kind of cool. That. I've got the sauce working out. So this is uh, this is how you sear something, right? So, so you want to make sure you got a couple of things ready to rock and roll. And again, this is the same technique, right? You may not be in the scallops necessarily, but if you like a good seared piece of chicken or a good seared pork chops, all the same sort of same sort of idea. So we got a pan, right? You got room temperature. I like extra virgin olive oil. I think it's really kind of nice. And then you want a sort of a slight sear, a slight yeah. smoke on top of this, okay? It's kind of dancing in the pan. Exactly right. So we're going to take a little bit of salt. You never want to put uh, pepper on anything that you're going to sear at this point, because pepper will burn. Um, we can always finish with pepper a little bit later, but definitely some salt first, right? And we've got our nice dry scallops. And again, you want to be a little careful when you're doing this because the oil is uh, is kind of hot, all right? So you just want to drop them in, mm. all right? And then uh, scallops themselves, they actually contain quite a bit of sugar. So we're going to get a beautiful caramelization on top of these and you know, look gorgeous. So uh, this is the last little bit. I mean, this, this is kind of like one of those fun dishes. Where you that's got, the last thing you do. Yeah, exactly. If you got some okay. friends coming over and you really want to impress somebody, or you have um, you love scallops at a restaurant but you've never been able to make them at home, it's just like searing. It's just like making a grilled cheese sandwich. Hey, okay, well, right? we're going to wrap this up. Yeah. We're going to come back and we're going to have this plated. You're going to want to be standing here with us because we're going to be eating it. It's going to be delicious. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that scallop. Oh, that's gorgeous. awesome. So come back. Scallops are beautiful. Look at that.
going to someone's home for dinner is one of my favorite things. I always look to see when the host puts their napkin in the lap because that's how you know it's time to begin. You also want to be observant of when they pick up their fork. That'll give you the cue that it's time to begin. I like to start with the entree. That way I can give a compliment to the host right away. They can generally tell by the look on your face whether or not you've enjoyed it, but be sure to say, gosh, that is so delicious. People love to hear that their food is being complimented. Remember, don't use the salt and pepper until you've tasted something first. Be sure to pay attention to the whole evening so you know whether you're eating too fast or too slow. Just enjoy yourself and be sure to thank your hostess. I tell you, it's been quite an experience right. here, and it is smelling wonderful. Okay, so so these are the short ribs that we braised, right? Um, and I left two whole, so you can see kind of what they look like when they're really starting to fall apart. They're really, really soft. Right? Aren't they gorgeous? Almost like barbecue, right? So uh -huh. so um, I, I took the rest that we had, and I kind of shredded up and some to some large pieces, but then I put you know a lot of the vegetable uh, product we put back in uh, right at the very beginning. Um, on top of it as well, so you can really kind of see it. See the carrots right? and everything. Absolutely. So, so, so check this out. I'm going to start kind of playing some of these up, right? So we've got this. It's almost like a marmalade, right? Braised short rib. It's got really beautiful color to it. It's dark brown. It's got great flavor to it. And again, it's got a little bit of red wine. It's got some honey. It's got a little caraway, which is kind of nice. And those were really lean too. I mean, there's not a lot of fat in there. I think that's why they're so good. Um, because uh, the, you know, fat is flavor, and also the connective tissue uh, that's inside really starts to break down to make an absolutely gorgeous, um, gorgeous braised meat. It's just unctuous and beautiful. So we got that. Now this is where it gets really kind of interesting. Again, this is going to seem kind of contemporary, like the fact that you put you know scallops and, and braised meat like this together, but the combination is just gorgeous. If you ever had a filet mignon and a lobster tail, you're totally going to get how mm. this stuff works together, right? So three nice big fat scallops on top of that. Look at the caramelization. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that is so great. Now this pan was really, really hot yep. when you put those scallops in there. Uh -huh. And you had the olive oil dancing. Yep. And then that's what seared that really quickly on the top. Yep. And also make sure they're nice and dry. Nice and you dry. You get really good scallops and they're nice and dry. And again, this is sort of our orange sauce. I'm just spoon over top of everything. Uh. And again, this is orange and cream chicken stock. A little bit of saffron, and the saffron seems too fancy. You can totally leave it out. Gosh, isn't that great? So this is um. And how could you not love protein? Looking at this plate, right? Uh, really, really nice. It's got tons of flavor to it, and and also really nice uh, flavors for this time of year too, which is really great. So check it out. So um, you definitely want something green on top of this. You know, this is uh, this is watercress because I think that's sort of like a nice kind of mustard bite kind of fit in really well with this. But parsley would work out really well. And again, something that's kind of clean and and fresh. And um, whatever you really, really like, oh, definitely something. Oh, that is so beautiful! As you're kind of putting the final touches on there, I want you to take a gander at this cake. Unbelievable! Yep. And I cannot begin to tell you how much this thing weighs. So it is, it is unreal. It's a monster. So it is a monster. Yeah. And you know, the icing, the buttercream icing that we put with this was uh, really, really nice. So I'm going to get a slice of that, but the most important thing is I want to make sure that we get to taste everything before yep. we go off air. So let me get a little bit of that cake out for you and a well, little that, bit that's for a, me, that's and a, that's ready to go. That's a pretty plate food. Pretty plate. That's a pretty plate food. Yeah, there you go. The next one will come out nice just piece of perfect. Cake. There you go. Beautiful. Look at that. Nice big cake. Oh. So it's all. It's so this this works out really well. The moisture is really great. You know the flavors are really good. You know okay, it'll, well, be, let's, let's it'll be it'll be this, this will be that cake that you'll make uh, for years to come that everyone will absolutely love. All right. Well, Tyler, well, good as to see we you. enjoyed this, I want to thank you again for making this trip. <laughs> you're welcome. And I wish the rest of you could be here. This is the best thing I've had all day because I've been flying all day. Oh man! I literally just got off the airplane and came. As you can see, oh. a simple recipe mm. with a, with some things that make it really wonderful. Mm -hmm. Two two minds come oh. together: oh. the cake mind and the the wonderful recipes. The San Francisco Southern yeah. flair to this, Love it. unbelievable. 
So as we continue to enjoy this, I hope that you will check this recipe out at NBC26.com. We've shared that with everybody. We've got to do this again, I hope, before too long. I hope that you will join me again next week because we're going to be talking about winter comfort food. But in the meantime... Who's going to next with the <laughs> uh, Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. So no matter what you do, always do it in good taste. Thank you again, Tyler. You guys need to follow him at, at Tyler Florence on Twitter. Uh -huh. And he, he's got a brand new cookbook coming out. Yep. So if you think this is good, wait until you see what's in the brand new cookbook fresh. Yeah, so which is uh, on Amazon.com. You can pick up there. Mm. So, no. so come back and join us again. Lots of things going on. Wonderful dishes. Great recipes. You can find them all on our website at NBC26. Thank you, Tyler. You're welcome. Bye.